This is the chicken's herb garden. It's not quite as pristine as my kitchen garden. Kind of let them do their thing in it. They love to take dust baths in it. But what I mostly grow in here is the herbs that I like to use in their nesting boxes. So I grow a lot of aromatic herbs in here, the lavender, bee balm, I've got some oregano, some purple Thai basil, a little bit of sage. But the chickens can come in here, take their dust baths, nibble on herbs, and then I like to harvest them and put them in their nesting boxes. Bugs don't really like the strong aromatics, so it helps to keep rodents and flies and things out of your coop. But I think the chickens also like it. It keeps them calm. Lavender is a really nice calming herb. But I really like them in the nesting boxes. They smell so great. They look really pretty. If the chickens want to nibble on them while they're sitting on the nest, that's okay too. I pretty much use whatever herbs I've got extra of. There's no real set amount or type of herb that I use. I pretty much use whatever I've got too much of and I need to prune a little bit, but I especially like to use the mint. It's really good at keeping mice out of your coop. The basil helps keep flies out. The lavender and catmint are calming herbs, so they help the chickens stay a little bit more relaxed when they're sitting. That's especially great if you have a hen sitting on eggs that you want her to hatch, because you want her to feel safe and comfortable in her nest. And then I like to add things that are just pretty. Purple basil and the catmint are really pretty, but I'll add rose petals or marigolds or whatever else I have. So it doesn't matter, just whatever I've got. And then I just kind of put some in the nests and I would just replace it. The chickens usually eat some of it, but I'll replace it when I need to prune the herbs again. I've even got some dried herbs left over from last winter that I didn't use. So in here, there's a lot of marigold and lavender and rose petals, some chamomile. I just air dry it and keep it in a bucket to sprinkle in the nests during the winter months when I don't have the fresh herbs. I'm not really sure the chickens appreciate the herbs as much as I do, but they are really pretty. I think they help with pest control and they make this coop smell really nice too. So if you have extra herbs, toss them in your chickens' nesting boxes. Some chickens lay brown eggs, others lay white eggs, but there's a very special breed that lays super dark brown eggs. This is Miranda. Miranda is our friendliest chicken. In fact, it's hard to get a good photo of her because she always wants to be in my lap or right beside me. Miranda's a great garden helper. She's a great forager. She loves pulling earthworms out of the ground or scratching in the dirt when I'm planting vegetables. Miranda's just two years old, so she's at the peak of her egg production and lays the most beautiful dark chocolate brown egg almost every day. The Marans breed comes from the Marans region of France. They come in various colors, blue, black, and this gorgeous splash pattern. They lay super dark chocolate brown colored eggs, which some French chefs are said to only use in their baking because they think that they're superior in taste and quality. Actually, the taste and quality of an egg depends on the chicken's diet, not the breed. But the Marans breed has the distinction of being mentioned in literature. Interestingly enough, James Bond in the Anne Fleming series would only eat a Marans egg boiled for three and a third minutes exactly. So that's kind of an interesting little tidbit about the Marans breed of chickens. She's white with gray splotches on her. They have a fairly standard sized comb and yellowish eyes. And interestingly, they're one of the few breeds that have feathers on their feet. That's a trait of the French Marans breed. So if you wanna add some gorgeous egg color to your basket, consider adding a Marans, whether you go for the splash or the blue or the black. They're a really great chicken breed.